Aaron, there has been so little leads in this investigation that late this afternoon, the Sheriff's Department actually canceled a press conference they were going to have right behind me because there's basically nothing to report. You could see the anguish on these law officers' faces morning, this morning when they had to come out and um, say after 24 hours or so, there were no significant Hoffman. advances sure, in finding who did this. Part of their frustration is it happened in broad daylight. 9 a.m. in the morning at a parking lot right across from a downtown courthouse in Kaufman, Texas. There were lots and lots of witnesses, but what the witnesses saw, according to police, varies so wildly that they don't even know the race of the perpetrator or the perpetrators. It could be one or two shooters. Those shooters could be wearing masks or possibly hoodies. One thing they do know is they believe that the killer or killers drove away in a gray or silver sedan. Mark Hassey was a prosecutor. He handled some tough cases, and his friends believe he was targeted. I think he was assassinated. That's what it looks like to me, because the organization, they obviously knew where he parked. They've obviously been following him. I mean, it's pure speculation on my part, but how do they know to be here? What investigators are now doing is looking through an extensive caseload that Mark Hassey was carrying and also all his past cases, trying to look for clues of a retribution or revenge killing stemming from one of his cases. But he prosecuted some really bad folks, members of the Aryan Brotherhood, white supremacists, uh, Mexican drug dealers, meth makers, meth drug dealers in this county. He was a good prosecutor, which means he prosecuted a lot of bad people. The sheriff says that has got them looking in all directions to see who could have done this. But right now, the only thing that's really changed in this story is the reward for any tip. It's up to near $70,000 for anybody who can help catch the killer. Aaron?